Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So these are the cheapest strings I could find at Long & McQuaid, and today we're gonna find out if they actually sound good. This is a 10 to 46 Long & McQuaid brand set that I picked up from Long & McQuaid. Now, normally I wouldn't cheap out on guitar strings, but with how expensive everything's getting these days, it's worth asking if the cheaper option is any good. Now, I can already tell that these are marketed more towards beginners because it has a diagram on how to tune your guitar at the back. Now, I'm actually curious to hear how these sound for the professional guitarist. So if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go change my strings real quick and we will see how these sound. One change of strings later. All right, there we go, fresh as a daisy. Now, let's see how these strings sound on their own. Now, the acoustic ring on this is nice and all, but uh, let's see how this sounds plugged in. Now, honestly, I'm not too blown away with what I'm hearing from these strings. Uh, but then again, for six bucks a pack, I'm not really expecting much. But they do do their job well at being a cheap, basic set of strings. So there's that. Doo doo. I will say this though, these strings are actually great for practicing on a budget. So I might pick up a couple more packs of them. But if you're recording professionally, you may want to go with a set of Cobalts by Ernie Ball. So I give these strings a solid three and a half out of five stars. I mean, they're nothing to write home about, but uh, they're still pretty handy. Now, what were the cheapest set of strings you bought and how well did they treat you? Let me know in the comments section below. And be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. Until next time, I'll see you soon.